Okay, here is the code. And uh, just start out by importing Pygame, which I had to apt get to get off of somebody's server there somewhere. But it is a complement to Python normal. It's a import. Um, the Pygame init. That's the first, and then there's a clock. I haven't used the clock at all. And all these uh, instructions were in the original program and a user text, but I just added five more user texts. And, uh, oh, my screen went dark here for whatever reason. Okay. Um, and then there was an input rectangle. I had to define a rectangle. And then I made six more that wasn't in the original program. Um, here's the colors, active colors and passive colors. That's for when you click on it. Oh, this is not needed comment anymore. I can delete that. And then, uh, active equals false. And then there's a while loop here. So while things are true, there's an if then, uh, for a mouse button push down, there's a true and false output for backspace and for a key down. Um, and so I can type into my coat, into my boxes, my text boxes that I make. This fills the screen with a bluish color, bluish green. I picked another if else, uh, conditional. I don't remember what I'm doing there. Okay. And here's where you draw and it draws a rectangle. Then it draws the, the text, puts the text and ties it into the rectangle. Um, and there was only one of these and I had to make six. So I just copied down and altered according to which rectangle I wanted to be in. And then there's some, some closing code here. I don't know. Remember what this is here. Uh, oh yeah, that's still more. Oh, I got an extra space in there. That's still, that's the last rectangle is there. And then here's the end. It's pie game display and clock tick. I forget what those do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and save it and then pull up my command line. I got a Linux screen here. I'm CD'd out to root, root directory. I'll just press up because it's already in here. Pygame.4.py. And I'll press enter and we'll see where it goes. All right, there it goes. Now, uh, so far, I can click on this text box and still type. And then it'll type or all the way off the screen because I haven't got an endpoint yet. But I don't even want to use the type function. I want to be able to click on this and have it lead to another menu. Um, but I haven't got my other text boxes. They don't click on. So nothing will type in there. So, um, But there it is. That's the screen. Oh, I might have dropped the the camera down here at a weird angle because I can't see it went on eco mode. I can't see my screen is too dark. <laughs> it's trying to save battery, which is stupid, but okay. That's it. Cousin Johnny, uh, you're, you're not the only coder in the Brooking family anymore. Although I guess I'm a Meyer, but, uh, close enough. All right. Have a good night.